Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get started, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will be notified of future videos. You know, today's topic, I want to take some time and kind of break it down. Today is set aside for the networking tip of the week. And so the topic I'd like to discuss is around price and the relationship it has in the networking process. Believe it or not, price and networking are really, really directly connected to each other. And so because this is Black Travelers Network, I do want to focus on this topic today. So I enjoy traveling quite a bit and a lot of my time I do spend talking to travelers about trips and it's so interesting because we always get to a point in the process where we have to discuss price and it's so funny because people give off a number of like nonverbal cues and I can just see <laughs> that most don't want to be rude uh, but you can kind of see the wheels in their mind turning and some people you can read them and you know they're just thinking in their minds why is your trip so expensive why is what you're selling so expensive so this is dedicated to those of you who have wanted to ask but maybe you couldn't find the words and i want to take this topic on because I actually enjoy talking about the importance of price. And I first want to say that price is definitely relative. What's expensive to some people is not necessarily expensive to other people. And I think that kind of goes without saying, but I do want to identify that as a foundational point. Secondly, most of the travel experiences that we actually roll out to our community are not what I would really call expensive because on the lower end they're usually somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,800 and depending on where and what all the package includes it can get up there to being a little over five but with that being said, you know, it really does depend on the experience and where the experience is located and what all is included in the package. It depends on a lot of factors. And so I want to just establish that there is a range. 1800 to 5000 for some people, it's just pocket change <laughs> for some people they'll make that in a month you know so I don't like suggesting that because it's expensive for one group of people that somehow it's expensive for everyone but I love talking about this because I do feel like very rarely is the connection made between price and networking and before I get into that I want to also highlight that this year is one of the first years that our travelers have actually seen us offer a package that is over ten thousand dollars I mean we do have expensive packages but people typically don't see those packages. So do we have a package that is $10,000? Yes. Do we have a package that's over that? Yes, we do. Do we have a $30,000 package? We absolutely do. <laughs> and we're actually working on carving out a six-figure uh, package. And part of that is what I want people to begin to understand is in order for us to be able to attract certain types of clients, we have to have packages that speak to that particular type of clientele, right? And so because of that, you know, we're not going to necessarily offer that to everyone because we know that those high-end packages 
are not for everyone. But the great thing about it is I do believe it is a really wonderful thing for people to shoot for. It's a great thing for people to want to uh, hopefully one day or someday attain uh, to be able to easily afford a package that is over $10,000 and not even blank. Like that means that you're doing something very well in life and that you should continue and most likely you're very successful. Most people will not be able to afford our higher end packages. And so we don't even really share or market it to the masses of the Black Travelers Network community and most people don't even know we offer it. And, you know, I hate to say it, I'm probably going to get a bit of flack for saying it, but I'm going to be, as I said, totally transparent. It's the expensive packages that eliminates people. It just does. And that really is the point. I remember some time ago, uh, there was this lady who had expressed an interest in going on one of our trips. And she wanted to speak to me. I wanted to speak to her because I like to talk to travelers to be able to answer whatever questions people have about our experiences. And I got on the phone with her and she was so rude and so just... It caught me off guard because I'm like, I thought you wanted to come on this experience, but the energy she was giving me was very combative. Like I was trying to convince her some kind of way to to join one of our trips. And I didn't like the energy. And I ultimately told her uh, that it wasn't going to be a good fit. But the reality was she couldn't afford the trip anyway. (laughs) You know, she could not afford the trip. And... In that moment, I was so thankful because, again, the price actually does eliminate some of the people. (laughs) I'm not going to say all, but price really does eliminate the people who are not necessarily the people you want to have a part of your experience. And I just want to say this and be on record as saying this because I really want people to understand me and feel me. When it comes to things that you're putting together, not everyone is qualified to be a part of what you're doing. You have to have some sort of measures in place that's going to include those that need to be included and exclude those people who need to be excluded. And price is an excellent measure it will exclude the people who should not be included. I don't listen to what people say. I listen to what people do. The reality is, is that people who are serious, people who are successful, people who are committed to getting the outcome that they want are people who take action. Our best travelers are people who come multiple times to travel with us to different places. And one thing that is very clear to me that I've experienced even before Black Travelers Network, when I was working in corporate, and it has extended to Black Travelers Network, is people who are Serious move totally different than people who are not serious. And I spent over 14 years speaking to thousands of people across the United States, literally thousands in that time. And one thing you understand when you've spoken to a volume of people over an extended period of time is there are certain characteristics, there are certain traits, there are certain words that are used by people who take action. So I'm just going to wrap this up by saying the price of entry speaks to the level those who have entered are capable of operating on. So if you desire to meet, mingle, and network with a certain group of people, 
you must take a step back and ask yourself, what is the price of entry? And that will tell you the type of people you will most likely uh, be meeting and mingling with. And if the people who are on the level that you can afford are not the people you desire to interact with, then maybe that is a sign that you need to level up. Most of us want to interact and mingle with people who are on a higher level than we are. And that's what we should all be striving for, in my opinion, uh, because I feel like we all need to stretch ourselves. But I also understand that in order to do that, we each have to step outside of our comfort zone. For some people, it may involve saving a little bit more money to put yourself in the places and spaces with people who are doing better than you. I hope this has been helpful. I certainly uh, look forward to continuing to explore this topic in many different ways. That was the networking tip of this week. And drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you think. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen.